Good morning guys, Matt here. I've got another quick tip for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to attach a layer to a path. In particular, I'm going to show you how to do a figure of eight because it's not the easiest thing to do. So let's jump in to... we're going to start with Illustrator. So, let's firstly draw a figure of eight. So I'm just going to use the ellipse tool and draw a circle. And then I'm going to select the circle hold in shift and alt if you drag it out and snap it to the end you would have to have smart guides enabled to do that first though so if you went to view uh, smart guides make sure that is ticked or you can press command u if you don't have command u selected if i try to show you that it's difficult to attach it to the path which is no good so command u and we'll just attach that to the end so we're going to build our figure of eight motion. So if we select this top with the white arrow tool, select the top node, delete that, and the bottom node here. Now if we select both of the layers, right click here and press join. Now we've got this nice fluid flowing path. Uh, what we're going to do now is select the path layer. We'll center it up just so when we put it in After Effects it's centered in our composition too. And then if we come to this tool here, which yours would start with Rotate, so if you change it to Reflect, and we're going to reflect it horizontally, and we'll click Copy. So now we've got this closed path, two different shape paths. So then we're going to jump into After Effects, and we'll go New Composition. <laughs> Uh, if we quickly draw a shape, we'll do a, a triangle just so we can see the movement of the path. So this is rough. But here we go. And we'll call this triangle. It's triangle. There we go. And then. I've got motion and if you click here it will center your path. If you don't have this you can right click, transform and there is a way to do it here. Center anchor point in layer. So there we go. That makes it into the center of your path. That's why I like motion just because it's there. It's so much quicker to do. So now we've got this triangle and we want to attach it to this path. So let's start with the top layer. So if you select your your path hit in command C to copy, go back to After Effects and we're going to open up the, posi no, no, the position parameters and if you click on the name and press command V it will then make your path. So now we've got this triangle flowing across our path which is awesome. What we're going to do now is if you select the triangle and right click and you go to transform and if you go to auto orientate Orient, sorry, and then orient along path, click OK. What this will do is it rotates following the shape of the path. Now we can correct this by pressing R, getting our rotation up, and attach our pointer so it's direct in the way. Uh, if you hold Command, you get a slower value. You go into the point values instead of just first. So you can fine tune and then connect it to the path, so roughly there. Now if we zoom out again, press play, our arrowhead drives around the shape of the path. So what we're going to do now is if we hit U on our keyboard, this is two seconds long, say that's too slow. We can select it all, go to one second, and if we hold Alt, we can select the keyframes and if you hold shift it will connect it to our uh, time in the keyframe Ta uh, time head can't use my words today so now by holding alt it scales the whole frames accordingly so now we get this movement over one second which is a lot nicer now what we're going to do is pressing command D we get the second triangle we're going to hit U on our keyboard and turn off the position value. Go back into Illustrator, select the ob 
opposite path, copy it and paste it. That didn't work. And paste it. So now we should have I've turned that off as well, I can't see. So now if we position this at one second I do the same, come to two seconds, hold an alt, crop it down, so now we have the same movement. I believe I've copied the same path twice. No, I haven't. Okay. What's going on here is the path is the wrong way. There is a way to change that. I think if we just do that, no. Uh, okay, what we can do is we select. Obviously, we wanted our. If we move this one out of the way, this shape flows underneath, goes along the middle, along the top, and ends on this side. So then it would follow through down here and loop back around to do a complete loop. Whereas ours starts on the other side and it's going the wrong way. So. If we select all of these keyframes, right click, adjustment, time, reverse keyframes, which I mentioned in my last tutorial. So what that's going to do is rotate the the path movement. So now we can see it ends there, starts in the same position, completes the loop. So if we put this back at one second, hit you on the keyboard, and then if we come forward a frame hold an alt and close bracket we can turn this layer off which will activate this one and it completes the loop so then if we were to come to two seconds come go back one frame hit N on our keyboard we should have a nice flowing loop there you have it guys that's how you attach an object to a path um, I quickly show you something else if I turn these off. You can just draw the path in After Effects. You don't need to draw it in Illustrator. I just wanted to do a perfect figure of eight. So if we have a circle here, we'll right click, go to transform, center our anchor point, and then we can, with the pen tool, draw a wacky path. like so and then if you come into the content path select the path copy that and then if we click our position we can paste it here so now if we delete that layer we have now got this circle doing a wacky path so there we have it so Let's delete that one. Show you this again. Turn that back on. There we have it. Very simple stuff. Works really well to attach objects to a path. Uh, that's it for today, guys. Um, if you like what you've seen, subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. If you've got any suggestions for tutorials, drop me an email. Take care, guys.